Oh wow, it's been a long, long, long time. I was around 21 years old when I met with Bishop June and his wife, Doris June. Very young, getting, just got married, and the Lord took me to that ministry. Actually, the ministry they didn't have a church yet. They had on service under a tent, and that ministry, which is in uh, Mawotier, uh, Wane, so they, only the foundation was on. And uh, I was there when they had the first revival. And at that revival time, I heard the voice of the Lord say to me, you need to join that ministry and you need to gather those young kids together. So I listened to the Holy Ghost and I went to Bishop June and I asked him, is it possible to do something with the youth? His response was, well, if God say it, do it. This is my kind of pastor that I have. So to make the story short, I'll be, I was the first young woman who started the first young uh, group in the church. And I am the first maestra of the choir, 1972, 73, when the church came up. And we were the first choir that sing at the inauguration. Right now, I've, I've been involved since I left Haiti in 1980 and it was always my home. And it was, when you meet Bishop June and his wife, you cannot stay in, unactive. You have to be active. They inject something in you. They put in you the need, they, make, they show you the needs to put your hands on God's word. I think they did that from the time I met them till 1980 when I left Haiti to go to the United States. They put the, 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 the doing in me. So since then, right after two years after I went to the United States, I came back and I've been coming back and forth doing missions. And I didn't even come here only. I go to Bahamas, Nassau. I, I, I went to Jamaica and I've been traveling to all the states that I could to do and plant and implant what Bishop June and his wife installed in me through the Holy Ghost. Grace International is, I would say, is the vision, the vision to save the Christians mostly in Haiti. The voice of the Lord was go and do and follow me. This is what Grace International is doing. They've been doing it faithfully for over 40 years. I don't even remember, I think over 40 years they've been doing. Saving kids, take them out from the hospital, those who are abandoned by their mothers and their fathers. They've been taking people out on the street. And we know not too long ago, uh, when we have that uh, earthquake, we had around 17,000 people under the tent in this property because it was the right thing to do. Grace International opened the doors where everybody else, every other place is closed their place. Grace International open their arm and receive 17,000 people with their family to live here. Not only they come here, they had protections from time to time. They got food, water, and they have security. Not only that, after a while, through the help that some people gave, um, they had opportunity to build up some housing in Le Lambie. If anyone wants to check it out, they should come to Haiti and go and see. And those people can testify what's been going on through this ministry. This is the ministry that I think the government should, should take a great look and give the support. But it's being supported by the grace of God and by those that God called to put their hands on it. And I praise God for everyone who's been supporting who are supporting now and who are going to support after they hear this. It's not only to preaching, it's through doing, saving soul, it's to giving food when they're hungry, taking care of them when they are sick physically, 
it's by putting those widows, the house of the widows, put them, take them out. They don't have no husband, no kids, nobody to take care of them. They grab them and take them and take care of them like it was their own. And picking up those kids, give them a mother and a father that can, those kids are so lovely, and the kitchen, take care of them. This is preaching the gospel. The preaching is not only standing up and say, thus said the Lord, but it's thus do the Lord. And we are the extending hand of God on this earth. This ministry is the extended ears, eyes, and hands of the Lord on this earth, Grace International. Since you heard what I just said, we have many, many, many places that you, put your, you can help to support the arm of this ministry. Every time I come to the Lord's uh, uh, kitchen, I see myself standing online waiting because my mother also was very poor, needed that kind of support when I was growing up. I see them with compassion and love. When you see some kids standing there with no hope of food, but this food that we're supposed to give them is one meal a day. And sometimes if we don't have enough, they go home without it. They sleep without it. This is a necessity. Even the widow house, the, where the widows are, we have to take care of them with, the, the, with medication. We have to be their mother to support their family. And they have to house them and we have to feed them. Those programs are very, very necessary. Not only that, we have the orphanage. No, we don't call them orphanage. We call them the girls' house. That's their homes. They have the mother, they don't treat them like orphanage. They feel like a home. So some of them was n without Grace International. We would, they would never know what a life is, a good life is. They speak English, they know the word, they live in clean, they got good water, they got check, um, medical covering. All of this, you can support that. And also, we have the housing that we, uh, Brother Johnny is building up through this. They need help, those kind, all kind of help. To, because we still have people who are in need, who are waiting for housing. You know, the earthquake happened. We don't hear too many people talking about it anymore. When it first started, everyone was, oh God, oh God, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. And it was, some of them was some, some empty promise. But we cannot be do empty promise. We have to continue to help and save. This is what uh, Grace International is all about. You can call, go through our, line, to our uh, website, graceinternational.org. You will see all the programs that we have. Education, you can adopt a child. You can support them, with, tell them that you, you want to support them medically. And it will be a great, a great, we need food. If you are out there, you have some warehousing that you, you are able to send food to those kids, it will be a blessing. We are in America, we are so spoiled. We got more than enough. Even though we have more than enough, we're still complaining. Come and see. Make a trip to Haiti, come, call. We can make plans for you, we can receive you with love and understanding. You will see, and your life will be changed. Some of you are miserable. Some of you are very miserable with millions in your pocket. You're poor, you're tormented because you don't know what to do. Maybe God wants you to see that broadcasting. God wants to open your eyes and your ear and maybe God wants you to walk with us and change the world. When we say change the world, change the children. The children is the world for tomorrow. Please help, help our people. This ministry is it. This is where to come. Go to that Grace International, graceintel.org. I was so pleased when I spoke with someone and she was going through, when I told her about Grace Intel, she went on her computer immediately online and check it. And while I was in that meeting, she interrupted that meeting to tell me, oh, congratulations, this, man, this ministry is clean. What she did, she checked it out. The LLC, the, the pro, whatever uh, we receiving, it's all lined up. You can check it out for yourself because God, they're working with God and God is here. I feel so blessed to be a part of this ministry. Remember Jesus said, when I was hungry, you did not feed me. 
When I was thirsty, you did not give me anything to drink. Don't let God say that about you. I want me and you are, who are watching me to hear God said, well done, well done, and well done. Praise God for you. And now we're waiting. Come and help and support and may the Lord bless you. If you know of a ministry that we need to know about, please give us a call, 888-641-8606, or take a look at our website, revelationstv.org.